What's up, Rockstars? How's it going? Today, I am unboxing a future Kickstarter game. It's got me excited. I've talked about it several times. It's actually uh, one that you've seen on the channel, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, now, as always, I'd like to thank my YouTube members and patrons. It is through their support that uh, much of the cost of this channel is taken care of. When it comes to and all my video software and all my hardware and much of what I actually cover, I have to pay out of pocket for, and that is all through them. So thank you so much for supporting uh, my kind of attempted honest work here uh, in this in this industry. And uh, uh, you guys have really made it to where I can continue to uh, be as honest as I wish. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and open her up and see what we got here. All right, let's go ahead and pop it out this way. Oh, okay. All right. And here we go. All right. Looks like I got this upside down. I'm sure you guys can already see what's in there. I know I can. Got some more cutting to do. Now, I was actually impressed. Uh, Dimension Games reached out to me uh, about this and said that they wanted to send this over so I could take a look at it, which is great. I certainly don't mind doing that. Um, but I was surprised that it was already done. Um, it's a, this is not the deluxe version. The deluxe version is going to be big. It's going to have minis and all that kind of stuff in there. And they're just not done with that yet. It's a much more higher investment. And that's where I imagine a lot of that funding money is going. Um, but the fact that the, the game itself is done is very, uh, it, it brings a lot of confidence, uh, to me at least. It's always nice to see that, you know, we're, we're getting to the point on Kickstarter where really to be competitive, you have to, um, you, you have to be as professional and as far along as you possibly can, uh, on Kickstarter. And, and so seeing a game completely done is n to me almost no different than seeing, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, a, a very professional prototype, right? It's it, kind of similar. It's like, you know, you gotta spend all this time and money just to, uh, before you even touch Kickstarter. Uh, that being said, I'm sure they're gonna have stretch goals and all that needs to be worked on. I'm sure there's still plenty of work to be done, plenty of money to spend on their part. But that being said, it is nice to see this. Wow, they, this is really packaged. Lots of tape. Lots of tape. Alright, I think we are close to being done now. Trying to be careful here. Always the goal, right? Careful as can be. Think, think. Alright, we are good. Alright, so before I open up the wrap, this is a fast paced fighting game for two players. Uh, by Dimension Games, Twisted Fables. You see some of the art there, art on the side and whatnot. 14 plus, two players, 30, 60 minutes. Got some box stuff there. On the back, they have the component list, some of the like, pictures and stuff, and then, of course, kind of some info about the game itself. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Like surgery. Surgical precision. That's, that's what this, my unboxings are all about. You guys know that. <laughs> Never have any issue. Okay. There we are. And... Oh, almost. There we go. Okay. Alright. Linen finish. You can feel that. Uh, not glaring at all, which is nice. Okay. And the inside is just regular box. That being said, the uh, the glue is very nice. Again, very flush and like all the way to the edge. Like there's like nothing there. A little bit of kind of uh, bent damage here. Uh, but again, I'm getting this different than you guys would as well. So I can never comment quite on how it was shipped or even put together. Because again, this is early. Uh, as, as you can see, there's actually, it looks like some of these fell out. That's hilarious. Okay, well, let's go ahead and... Actually, we'll, we'll cheat and we'll go to the rules of play is what they're calling this one. And so on the back, they have quick reference, some credits, 
on the very back page looks like they just have some uh, a lot of lore which is actually very cool and some advantages and disadvantages looks like this would help you pick who you're gonna be which is very neat as well we got Snow White we got Red Riding Hood Alice Sleeping Beauty uh, Mulan and Kaguya I actually don't recognize her I don't know if she's from something I'm just not aware of or not and then we have Rogue Mode I'm not seeing an index which is unfortunate so we do have a solid 16 pages of rules here, and the text is not that big. It looks like a lot of um, examples and pictures and arrows and all that kind of stuff, which is very nice. I'm going to go ahead and skip some of these here. That looks cool. So fable sheet and fable board. Uh, key topics here. So we have some key topics with some page numbers, which is nice as well. Not quite an index, uh, but, you know... Uh, and, and I'm only saying that because I don't see any multiple pages. Now, with this game, it maybe it doesn't have multiple pages. It is in alphabetical order, which is very useful. Kind of interesting to see this in the front. And they have a golden rule here. It looks like this is fairly well put together. Uh, I'm not going to judge it until my review. However, um, I think that still looks pretty solid as long as that can act as an index. Okay, so here it looks like we already have stuff falling out, which shows um, how little, like, there's barely any tag. There's a little bit there. Double-sided here, at least with the standees. Um, again, uh, the deluxe version, I believe, has miniatures, and uh, it definitely, well, they're kind of universal in, look at how easy that pops out, in shape, which makes them uniform, which is nice, but also makes them cover up more space. Like a miniature wouldn't have all this extra outside, right? It'd just be the, the person. So that's one of the differences and changes between standees and miniatures. I find standees to block more line of sight. Might not even be an issue here, but um, these are very thick, uh, linen finish. Uh, from what I can tell, it almost, I, it doesn't seem, that's kind of close. It looks like this is just raw on the outside. I don't think these are sealed. It, it, it's, it's debatable for me. So the reason I'm saying that is because it feels really smooth. Like you don't feel like the wood textures. In fact, I want to zoom in a little bit here for you guys. So uh, I can't really feel any different wood textures or anything like that. Let me go and get my my tool here. Um, yeah, you hear that? Okay, so not treated. This is definitely just compressed. Just very compressed, very thin, uh, which means you can see some wear. You can even see a little bit of white there right now on these tokens. But they are very thick, which is nice, and uh, I like the shape, and they punch out very well, actually. Um, looks like there's a little bit of... Um, stuff you could you could take an exacto knife and trim it up a little bit. It's probably the worst offender there. This is a very hard shape to do though. Imagine stuff like this, a little bit easier to to control. See, so you just have the two right there on the side. All right, let's see the rest of the standees just fell into here. Yep. So there you go. There's that. Got some spacing here, which is nice. I want to keep that in case I need it. And a plastic tray. I was not expecting this. Two of them for either player in a resealable Ziploc baggie. I don't know how necessary a Ziploc bag is for this, um, but for shipping, I can understand it. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in there. I like that it's not a tight fit either. That's a big bag, I'm gonna keep that. I, I'm a, like a Ziploc bag connoisseur, actually. I do that a lot. Okay, so in here, these look nice. Very thick, by the way. Like there's not really any bend to it at all uh, very reinforced across the board here you can see it's got the Twisted Fables logo here this would look awesome painted by the way inside it has the numbers and those all look really really good like those are very crisp this is some nice I'm assuming ABS plastic here and it, it's very premium feeling it seems nice I'm not seeing any bend in the plastic which again is probably in large part thanks to this uh, rigid uh, design that they have there. Very nice. These are cool. I like that. All right. Uh, I do like the black uh, tray. I'm going to go ahead and take the cards out and we're going to. Oh, there's another one there. I'm going to check the tray out before we get into the cards. Let's take the cards out. Even take the player boards out. Looks like we got some standy holders. We have some colored markers for those trays. And then a few small cards. And then I'm going to zoom back out so you can see what I'm looking at here. This is very nice. You hear how you don't really hear any crinkling or anything like that? This is a little bit more rigid than something you'd get typically in a uh, most come on games. You'll you hear all this crinkle and wrinkle because it's super thin. 
uh, uh, this is black and it just feels nice. There's not a lot of give or break or anything like that. Very nice. Also appreciate that it goes up to the lid here. Now there's some space here for the stuff you're stacking in there, but otherwise it's very flush. Sometimes you'll get some spacing and you need a lid. It looks like this should stay pretty good and gets mostly cards anyway. Let's go and start with these. I'm gonna move everything to the side, zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and open these. Looks like right here is gonna be my uh, opening for attack. There we are. Okay, now it's gotta. Hold on, I got this, guys. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm a professional. I've been doing so many of these. I'm, a, I'm an expert at unboxing at this point, so I can do this. Golly, that makes it so hard. Ugh. All right, all right. Hold on. All right, there we go. I, ooh, see, careful. Put that back. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up before I bleed to death. All right, let's go ahead and open these up. And we can see these are very thin. Um, very, like, cool feeling, though. Like, they're, they're very soft, almost. Uh, very smooth. Again, the logo on the back is super cool. Um, but you can hear that. Very thin player boards. Um, it feels almost plasticky. Definitely is sealed with uh, some kind of texture. Uh, readability is good. Color is good. Um, symbols are very obvious. I like all that. Uh, the glow and the numbers helps a lot. There's a little symbol here. And then a whole lot of, it looks like how you kind of build it and maybe some special rules for them. And each one has its kind of th thematic look to it, which is also kind of neat. I like that. A lot of them here. So for a two-player game, it looks like you start with one, two, three, four, five, six different options, which is nice. So you can have three whole games of unique, and then, of course, then you can interchange and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, it would just slide in like that with a little bit of a lip to be able to get it out. Maybe, maybe, there we go. Cool, I like it, otherwise it fits in, looks like nicely there. A little bit of bend, bending on there, you can kind of see right there, but not too bad. All right, let's look at some of these cards and then I think we're done. Now let's look at the small ones first, actually. All right, let's go ahead and open these up. I'm gonna go ahead Take a quick moment. Oh, look at that, look at this. See, that is so convenient. Thank you for that. Oh, you're not gonna be as convenient, huh? And just kind of get it started on each one. Save me a little bit of time from dealing with this again. All right, move those aside. Oh, these small cards first, huh? I did start this one, didn't I? Or did I start this all the rest? No, I got this. There we are. Okay. Oh, my hands like stuck to me. Okay, so these again are very, very thin. Um, when there's this small, it's a little bit easier. Um, however, it is again quite thin. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the uh, uh, whole kind of lighting and zoom setup here. All right, so now you can see there are repeats here. In fact, there's a lot of this. His command where you gain green power. And there's Thirst No More, you recover 1 HP. These are all green. Look at the art, though, on this. That is amazing. Treasures Unlocked. That is so cool. It's literally a key in his skull um, with spiderweb all around. Draw green cards and then discard oh, minus one cards from your hand. I'm assuming it's this symbol that you're really looking at there. Not necessarily green. Spying the Future. Wow, again, the art here is amazing. Uh, they've been showing the character's art so much, but I am digging this art a lot. Like, this is, looks great. Uh, fairest of all. Uh, th so this is slightly difficult to actually read. Um, it's definitely a unique uh, art style. I'm getting these all out of order. That's okay. That's all right. Tale Retold. Again, great art here. Uh, Snickersnack. <laughs> 
destroy up to blank green cards from your hand and or discord pile. So a lot of card play in all of these. Um, though that being said, I'm surprised that there are, it's not a huge deck, but there are repeats here. So you'll probably see these quite often, I would imagine. And then it looks like you have Queen of Hearts, Mad Hatter, and the Cheshire Cat. Uh, very interesting, uh, these three here. I'm not sure exactly what they go for, but for somebody's deck, which is kind of interesting. All right, let's go ahead and look at these. Let's see what we got here. So these are kind of the main cards here that you'd be looking at. All right, so it looks like Oh, we got one, two, three, and then some kind of special card there. And then I'm assuming on the back here are, or just TF. Okay, so you can't tell at all what cards they are from the back. Only from the front. I will say right now that I appreciate um, how big the art is on the card for a couple of reasons. First of all, more art is always better on cards. Um, but second of all, it means that they're not getting super wordy here right which can be good or bad i mean technically it could just mean that you don't know exactly what to do but more often than not it just means that they're very quick there's nothing that has like a big explanation block to it um definitely repeated art though as you can see that these shattered chains and shattered souls uh uses the same art here i don't know exactly how permanent this is perhaps that'll change i don't know and then treating what ails i'm gonna recover five hp then destroy this card um it looks like these are like skills, maybe that you can even chain. And there's twists, uh, and then more skills here. Till the end of the turn, you gain damage plus one during each of the next shield plus weird symbol attack actions. These actions do not need to be successive. Uh, this seems fairly good, though, um, when it comes to its symbology. There's not too much here, which is nice. Um, I, would, I would be worried about... Uh, when you have so little space, sometimes it gets a little... Uh, symbol heavy and that doesn't seem to be the case. Here's an epic that you get. This should be foil. Uh, the sleeper wakes. Immediately gain three awakening tokens. Ignore the limit of six no matter which mode you are in. If you are still asleep after that you may choose immediately to be awakened. And it looks to me like each character acts kind of different. So, so Sleeping Beauty here would fall asleep and then can be awake. It doesn't like you want her to be awake. She's kind of scary. Um, different style uh, art as well I'm seeing. So it's kind of like a Magic the Gathering where you have different artists uh, doing different portions of the art. I don't see an artist credit on the card per se like they do in uh, Magic the Gathering. But either way, you get a little bit of a variety there. But they tend to be kind of, I mean, it, it works together, which is nice. I don't see anything getting crazy here. Uh, a twist, Mad Hatter, while your avatar is Mad Hatter, when you would add cards into your discard pile via a skill, you may instead choose one of those cards and add into your hand. That must be these these small ones here. This must be her three avatars. It is the Chessar Cat, the Queen of Hearts, and the Mad Hatter. That's what that is. Okay, we've got Hat Trick. It's Showtime. There's the Twist, a skill. And I'm assuming there's an Epic here at some point. Here's the Epic. A Fabulous Day. A frabjous day. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. An important date. So several epics here. Oh, probably an epic for each one. So one's going to be Mad Hatter. And then one's going to be, you know, the, the the Queen of Hearts and stuff like that. Okay, then you have the Mulan character here. It looks very techno. Um, again, uh, these are such a unique uh, world here. Very colorful. I'm actually surprised by the color. There's a lot of color on these. Let's see if we can see the epics. And that's what everybody cares about, the epics, right? So she has three epics as well. Legends Call, Confronting Chaos, and Honor's Thunder. And then that other character I didn't know about until this game. So, all right, moving on from that, let's look at the other two decks, which they look like they might be similar. So let's check them out, maybe kind of at the same time. Let's leave through them real quick and see. They're actually fairly easy to open, which is nice. I'm going to put these back in the tray as well and see what it looks like it is. Oh, there's definitely some uniqueness there. Um, it, if it might be able to hold sleeves. I'll check that out too. And this looks like it's just these. These look movement, lots of movement, defense, and probably just attack. So movement, defense, and attack separated by color. 
Um, and then you have the one, two, three attacks, one, two, three defense, and one, two, three movement. And it looks like it matches the symbol count as well. And again, the backs are just the TF. Okay, so here's the last bit of the meat and potatoes. A uh, little bit of movement here. I'm not sure exactly why. I guess it couldn't quite fit. Then we have wilds, one, two, and three. That's interesting. Um, wait, no, maybe not. So just a couple wilds. Some more movement. Some more wild. <laughs> I don't know what's happened here, but all right. Okay. And here are some more cards here. Again, background's the same. Pot shot, range one, damage one. Uh, crack shot, range two, damage two, plus that symbol. Um, overdrive burn. When you use this skill or that movement, you may discard up to one skill card from your hand and gain damage plus X, X is equal to this card's skill cards. So it looks like you just kind of can move farther or something like that. Sniper shot, energy shield, omega shield, lots of different stuff. Here's where a lot of the art is too. Unleashed ballistics. Looks like she's got guns coming out of her neck. Don't know what's going on there. That must be what this is too. Transformed senses. Yeah, that's she's going crazy there is what that is. System hack, the wolf consumes. Definitely getting kind of crazy here. <laughs> Raining vengeance. Look at that. That's fun. Lots of cool cards here. I dig this. Uh yeah, these these are not your these are definitely uh ready for battle. Shattered passage, shattered truth, venomous turn, definitely thematic, which is cool. I dig that. Look at that poison card. Love it. Very cool. It's like a couple different colors of that. Again, I don't even know what the colors are for necessarily. Inner turmoil, inner rage, bloodletting, my goodness. Uh, inner fury, and treating what ails again. Uh, very interesting to see kind of a, a, a mix of cards here. I'll definitely have to read the rule book and let you guys know what I find out. Anyway, that's it. That's everything I got in the game. Uh, so again, this is going to be on Kickstarter soon. I'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, to what's available now, probably a Facebook group or something like that, and then, of course, the Kickstarter once it's available. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon.